Hi, good morning. So today I'd like to introduce to you the definition of discourse. You know, I'm teaching discourse analysis and for you to um, get to know better, uh, you'll have to know what is discourse. So discourse is actually very simple. It is defined as a piece of language or a stretch of language which is unified, meaningful, and purposive. Now, what is unified? Unified means that it talks only about one topic, one major topic. So, for example, a discourse will talk about um, global warming and only that. It focuses on the one single topic. Second one is it is meaningful. What is meaningful? Simply, simply says uh, it means that whenever you read a piece of discourse, you can make sense of it. You can understand what is being written. You can understand what you are reading. There is a sense of you get a meaning from it. Okay, that's meaningful. Um, and the third one, the last one, is that it is purposive, which means that it has a certain purpose to achieve. The discourse is always purposive. It has a certain purpose uh, which is going to achieve. For example, uh, a discourse is wants to achieve um, information. A discourse wants to inform the readers about a certain information. Or, say, if you see an announcement or if you see an um, advertisement, yeah, the discourse aims to persuade you to buy the service or to buy the goods being advertised. So, every discourse, every piece of discourse has a purpose. It can be informing, it can be warning, for example, no smoking in a fuel station. Yeah. It can be entertaining. If you read a piece of novel, if you read a piece of short story, then apparently uh, the writer of the short story wants to entertain you uh, through the essay or through the uh, short story. Yeah. So there are three aspects or three criteria of discourse. One, it is, it is unified. It talks only about a single topic. Second is um, it is meaningful. You can get the meaning out of the discourse. Third is it has a purpose. Okay, let me give you a simple example. This one is a discourse. See, <coughs> this is a census penduduk online 2020. See, unified. It means that it is. It talks about census only. It doesn't talk about global warming, it doesn't talk about virus, yeah. it talks about census. Yeah. And it is meaningful. When you read this, you will get the meaning from this piece of discourse. Yeah. Let me read uh, some, some of the um, writing here. Census Penduduk Online 2020, seluruh penduduk Indonesia, siapkan nomor induk kependudukan, Kartu keluarga, etc., etc. So, as you read this, you can get the meaning. That means that this is a discourse because it has a meaning. Okay. And third is that it has a purpose. Yeah. This piece of simple discourse wants to inform us that there is a census penduduk. Also, it wants to in instruct us. It it wants to. Um, ask us to start filling our data to this website. Yeah, so it's uh, it achieves its purpose by telling us to fill out the uh, online uh, questionnaire, and also it informs us that there is a uh, census going on in Indonesia. So this is a piece of discourse. Yeah. Let me give you another example: a book. <clears throat> Surely, it talks about one single topic. In this case, it talks about thinking, right? So it is a uh, uh, unified. 
it talks only about one single topic which is thinking second it is meaningful well if you read this and if you understand English you will see the meaning from uh, from one page to another page until the end of the book yeah, so it has meaning second uh, sorry third it has a purpose what is the purpose the purpose is to inform the readers of how to think critically how to think creatively okay so this is a discourse okay hopefully my short explanation has made it clear for you what is discourse and if you take the uh, class my class at discourse analysis you are going to explore further uh, some more interesting issues about discourse in the meantime that's it goodbye for now